de aging, de aging, de aging, de aging, de aging is seemingly everywhere in movies these days. An Irishman is the holy grail of the technology. However, there's been a comparison video of the Irishman being deep faked using free software, and the video in question has become very popular on the internet due to it apparently achieving better results at de-aging than the 159 million dollar budget film itself through the use of deep fakes. So. Let's take a look at this video. Now we have an identical scene comparison with the normal version on the left and a deepfake version on the right. And immediately you can see they might be right. The results do look better. The version of Robert De Niro's character Frank Sheeran on the right does look vastly different and you could argue better than the CGI version. The same with Joe Pesci's character. It looks like a younger Joe Pesci, which in terms of the phrase de-aging should be the point, right? To de-age an actor. Well, yes, but in the case of the Irishman, maybe not. Take this example here. The results are so ridiculously different with what could be 1992 Robert De Niro on the right and an unrecognisable Robert De Niro on the left. So let's break down the differences in technology first and foremost between de-aging and deep faking. So first, how does CGI de-aging work? Well, in the case of The Irishman, ILM, the team created by George Lucas, who pioneered the VFX used in the original Star Wars movies, tackled the de-aging scene in The Irishman. Martin Scorsese didn't want the actors to have the traditional tracking markers on their faces, as he felt it would hinder their performances. So, they developed a new method of de-aging using a main camera surrounded by two witness cameras, which capture in infrared. Each of these cameras capture a different point of view of the performance, with no shadows cast on the actors. With the different points of view, they could create a better 3D translation. They studied the past movies of all the actors to create a reference point for the 3D translation. They would take the image shot on set, use the tools to analyse the performance and create a 3D model of what was shot on set. They would then, using the references and a bunch of data they'd collected, make the actors look younger. So, deepfakes. How do deepfakes work? Well, to deepfake, there needs to be two sets of data. A set of images of the initial subject, we'll call subject A, and a set of images of the face, subject B, of what you'll be applying onto subject A. This means two large collections of faces, each one containing a wide range of lighting, expressions and angles. First, the data is collected, and this can be done by just capturing a video of your desired subject. The more angles the better, of course, and from this footage, all the different frames are extracted and matched up to the similar frames of the other video. After some fine tuning and tweaking, you have a deep fake. So, back to the Irishman, okay? In this footage here, the version of Robert De Niro on the left is old Robert with younger data applied, while the deep fake on the right is the actual face of young Robert De Niro slapped onto old Robert De Niro. Well, yes, the version on the right looks younger due to it being the actual face of young Robert De Niro, with such features as his youthful eye standing out. I mentioned earlier that CGI de aging is supposed to de age an actor and the deepfake does this brilliantly. But in the case of The Irishman, the goal was to de-age the character, such as the character of Frank Sheeran. And the character of Frank Sheeran is not Robert De Niro, which is evident in his different eye colour. Half of what sells the deepfake is the eyes, uh, Robert De Niro's eyes, and not the eyes of Frank Sheeran, the character. And it's the same with Al Pacino. So both versions of de-aging do work incredibly well, and the argument that the deepfake works better than the CGI is true in terms of the actor, but not necessarily what Scorsese wanted for the character. And finally, the biggest criticism with the Irishman's use of the technology wasn't the actual de-aging of the face itself, it was that the de-aging only applied to the face. A 76 year old man is still going to move like a 76 year old man, and this is painfully evident in some scenes, breaking the illusion.